Number 15. This is 1960 D. Roosevelt dime in MS-67 condition with full bands. Brilliant on the reverse, the obverse is ringed in vivid, mottled, reddish russet and sea green peripheral toning. Richly frosted and smooth, this coin is sure to please even the most discerning Roosevelt dime collector. It was sold for $1,495. Number 14. Here is 1969 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. An important piece for the registry collector of post-silver Washington Quarters. Minimally toned aside from a hint of gold on the reverse. Broadly lustrous with little detail in Washington's hair, as usual for this time in the Master Hub's life. It was sold for $3,818.75. Number 13. Here is 1923 S. Lincoln Cent in MS-65 red and brown condition. Satiny medium orange surfaces are predominantly lustrous with just a tinge of pale olive toning discernible as the coin rotates under a light. A sharply struck, premium quality gem that ended up selling for $3,525. Number 12 This is 1938 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition. From the initial year of the Jefferson Nickel series comes this gorgeous, conditionally rare superb gem. Untoned with uniform mint brilliance to the finish, both sides are also devoid of even trivial detractions. A fully impressed specimen that was sold for $3,795. Number 11 This is 1951 D. Roosevelt dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Splendid olive gold and reddish-orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine-looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Full bands is a numismatic term denoting fully struck and delineated lower and upper bands on the torch, which is central device of reverse design. This specimen fetched a sum of $4,600. Number 10. Here is 1931 Lincoln Cent in MS-67 red condition. According to NGC, the effects of the Great Depression are reflected in this small mintage only one-eighth that of 1930. Fortunately for today's collectors, there was already a steady following for Lincoln Cents at the time, and enough were preserved to make fully red gems only slightly scarce. Worn examples are somewhat scarcer than for Philadelphia mint cents of earlier years, but they certainly are not rare. Most cents coined during the worst years of the Depression are almost routinely well struck from unworn dyes. This specimen is lustrous and bright, with medium orange color to boldly impressed features. Detracting blemishes are not seen. It was sold for $6,900. Number 9. Here is 1916 Lincoln Cent in PR66 plus red and brown condition. This CAC-proven superb gem is fully struck, satin-textured beauty could never be confused for anything but a proof striking from the early years of the Lincoln Scent series. Dominant medium orange color is lightly toned in glossy brown iridescence, the combination of the two presenting a picture of undeniable originality. It was sold for $7,050 at Stax Bowers. Number 8. This is 1960 D. Lincoln Cent with large date. Graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS. Delightful rose red luster dominates the outward appearance of this coin, although we do note blushes of pale gold tinting in isolated areas at the rims. A fully struck, satin textured superb gem with nary a detracting blemish to report. Nearly unique with a MS67 road grade from PCGS. It was sold for $8,050. Number 7. Here is rainbow-toned 1962 Washington Quarter in MS-67 condition. The radiant, nearly flawless obverse is further enhanced by splendid multicolored toning. The reverse shows only a hint of peripheral gold at the borders, with an otherwise brilliant white surface. MS-65 and MS-66 examples are readily available, but superb pieces are elusive. It was sold for $10,200.
Number 6. This is 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver plan kit. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. A transitional alloy wrong plan kit error, similar to the more famous 1943 bronze Lincoln cent. In 1965 and early 1966, quarters were struck in both silver and copper nickel format. The silver quarters were dated 1964, and the copper nickel quarters were dated 1965. Inevitably, a few of the planches were diverted to unintended dies, such as the present piece. Lightly toned with good luster, few marks, and a typical strike. This error quarter ended up selling for $14,687.50. Number 5. 1917 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 plus Red by PCGS. Both sides of this delightful 1917 double die scent display vibrant golden orange luster. The surfaces have an overall smooth, satiny texture that highlights a razor sharp strike. A few extremely faint and easily overlooked fly specks on the obverse are all that seem to preclude a full gem rating. This is one of the most pronounced double die obverse varieties in the Lincoln Scent series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God We Trust in the motto. It was sold for $14,687.50. Number 4. This is 1969's Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. This circulated coin was cleaned therefore PCGS assigned O details with no numerical grade. The 1969's double die is the single most valuable variety in the Lincoln Cent series and ranks at the number one spot in Schechter and Garrett's 100 Greatest U.S. Modern Coins. Bold doubling can be seen on all obverse lettering and the bowtie. It was sold for $16,450. Number 3. Here is 1964 Washington Quarter in MS-67 condition. Possibly produced as prototypes for the five-coin special mint sets offered by the Mint from 1965 through 1967, a small hoard of previously unknown 1964 special mint sets was discovered in the 1990s. This spectacular superb gem Washington Quarter was included in one of those sets. The design elements are sharply detailed throughout and the impeccably preserved surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $23,400. Number 2. Here is final year, 1963 Franklin Half with full bell lines. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Heritage, John R. Sinek's half-dollar design featuring Benjamin Franklin was not due for replacement until 1973 according to the 25-year rule but the shocking assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963 saw a swift movement to memorialize him on a coin, leaving Franklin in the Liberty Bell in the cold. This Philadelphia example from 1963 is notable for its full bell lines detail on the reverse. Bright luster is largely silver but has patches of gold and yellow toning on each side, more visibly the obverse. It was sold for $27,025, Number 1. And this is proof 1909 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR68 Red by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, given the brevity of the press run for the short-lived 1909 VDB type, the only proof 1909 Lincoln Cents that were available to most contemporary collectors are examples of the design without the designer's initials at the lower reverse border. The 1909 Lincoln has a proof mintage of 2,198 pieces in, Enough pieces have been saved that the issue turns up fairly frequently in today's market. The typical offering is for a proof 64 or proof 65, often with red and brown color, and even a full red gem represents an important find. This PR68 red gem was sold for $59,800. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider hitting subscribe and notification buttons below. And don't forget to hit thumbs up. See you in the next episode.